morning retail traders I just want to bring a simple reminder of where we are at on the SPY and the SPX and so far it's nailed it to the penny so I'm look, pulled up the weekly there's another chart that I got interested in over the weekend that's called the yearly and we'll change this here to a yearly chime, uh, time frame Here on the yearly, we've got the five-year chart. For the last three years, we've hit resistance up here at the top, at right, right around the 477.12 area. That's the hard resistance, 479.98, 480 being the all-time high. So that's real hard resistance to break. And if you're a true believer of the triple top, you know that we hit a real hard resistance. Now, we've got the fat cats and social media pumping the shit out of this market. I mean, just pumping it. The hardest I've ever seen in my lifetime. And... and <clears throat> And I've been here 20 years every day watching this desk. This is the biggest pump I've ever seen. So we're at a triple top. Now, if you heard them at the end of last year, they were just pumping, 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 pumping AI. And there was no talk about the, the, about the high resistance level of all-time highs. Hardly any of them ever mentioned it. But I, I'm going to bring it up to your attention because this is extremely hard resistance to break. If it breaks, we're off to new highs. Now, we've got earnings coming up. They just downgraded Apple. Apple. Whoop. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome Hello, to Becky. Spotbox. We are live from the NASDAQ. So I really want to emphasize how hard of a resistance this is. Now, we could have a small pullback into earnings, and earnings are going to be good. Everything is behind the market right now. The lower interest rates... The only thing that's in my way is geopolitical. Geopolitical is not the best. Foreign policy really sucks right now. It's at the worst I've seen it in a long time. Very long time. Since Vietnam. And it can get a lot worse. Japan work. I mean, one of the politicians in uh, North, South Korea got stabbed in the neck. Over the weekend, we had the big Nusami over earthquake in in uh, Japan. We got Putin coming out saying he's going to intensify the war in Ukraine. We've got more tension in the Red Sea. I mean, it's just a lot of a lot of. I do believe, in my honest opinion, that this would have never happened if we'd elected some other idiot besides Biden. I predicted this would happen way before he was even elected. We were going to have a genocide, and that's what we got. We got genocide. Over 500,000 people dead. Murdered in the past three years. So the market doesn't take this in consideration, but I do when I'm trading. So I've always been very defensive on this triple top. SPX the same way. If you look at the SPX, we have the same kind of high. We have an all-time high at 48.1862 with a resistance to break of 4777.66. If we break that 4777.66, and so I'm expecting a small little pullback. And I'm going to pull this up to the three-year time frame and show you what I'm looking at. Put it on the weekly. So here on the weekly, we have an, a hard resistance on the body of this candle right here at 477.66. And a long time high of 481862. Now I think this can pull back. Maybe it will be a drastic pullback if it happens to this previous wick right here, which would be the bottom of the body of that candle. And that would be a very good spot, I think, to take this market and run it back up and break a triple top. Earnings are coming out, 
and they're going to be, you know, I did a little earnings video if you want to go back and watch it just to prepare, prepare for this coming earnings because that's going to probably be one of the biggest catalysts that will take this market and move it to the upside. Earnings are going to be good. They've been downplayed. The fat cats last year were talking recession, recession, recession all year long. And then when the interest rates stopped, we had one of the biggest runs I've ever seen, which was I predicted that would happen too. And I predicted that they wouldn't be doing the, raising interest rates no more in advance to prepare you for that trade. Well, I'm now preparing you for a, a hard resistance. Don't listen to the fat cats. They pumped this market like I've never seen in my lifetime. And they don't eat their words. They won't come back and say, oh, we were wrong. But they did kind of say they were wrong about the predictions into 2023. And also with the predictions of 2022, by the dip, by the dip, all we did was just dip. There was good trades to be made because, you know, we hit the trend lines and pulled back and hit that 200. And this was the month that I said you'd remember because we had them three black crows on the weekly time frame. So I do expect a little pullback. Maybe your first support is going to be the top of this here channel. Somewhere right around... 4725 if that holds into earnings I think that'll be another good catalyst to run it back up and if more downgrades come in like they did to Apple we could see this fall back to 4607 that's the SPX the SPY is the same way if you look at the SPY on the weekly We have the same example right here. We have resistance at 477.12. This thing can pull back to each body layer of these candles on the weekly and apply as a support with a tweezer resistance and a bottom right here. That could be a solid support for a bounce back up into earnings. If not, she'll drop all. I mean, you got this wick, you got this body, and you got that body. That's real solid, 473.87. If that doesn't hold today, we can pull back to this other support level right around 470. If you pull it up to the 20 day, one hour, that 470 seems like a you know fairly good spot. We have some resistance here. We're hold, we didn't hold the 200, so this could easily come back down and have a triple bottom down here and bounce up real nice. Now I've already had 468.28 on here, and I'm going to raise this up just a little bit above that third that first support level right above 470 and we'll correct that right now apple i was all over apple last week i said short this apple they had the uh ban of the eye watch of the of the watch and that was a good enough catalyst for me to say short it now if you were listening to CNBC last week, well, this is only 2% of the sales. It ain't going to hurt. We're talking $140-some million dollars a week in sales that aren't going to happen. So I was very, 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 very bearish on Apple last week. I'm glad I was. Now we're getting to a 20-day low. We did break past two of my support levels today. And I think we can get us a nice day trade out of this today. Once the market opens, we have opening bell. But Barclays downgraded it to 160, and that's a pretty, pretty big, pretty bold statement. Tesla's competition, keep a good eye on BYDDF. Inventory was outstanding. And I think I did a video on this, called this trade back here at the bottom right around 26.30. And we've jumped up $1.30 so far, and I think we can break this here triple top resistance. And we're going to draw a trend line across it. This is BY, this is China, with a long target of right around 29. We hit my target of the 200 and scaled out some there and held some. And I think we can bring this back up and have a 1, 2, 3B at 29 bucks. Deliveries were outstanding and surpass Tesla. This might affect Tesla stock. It's still bullish on Tesla, but I did ask for a pullback. 
Now we could hit the bottom of this channel or bottom of this resistance level right here and have a bounce up today right into open. We'll draw a trend line across there, price line of this previous high right here on the body of that candle at 245.65. So we could bounce up and hit the 200 and get out of the trade or she's going to pull bond back and hit the bottom of this here Darvis box of right around the 240 area, 238. That's about where I've been talking about on this trade for the pullback and then run it back up. So Tesla's still great. They're coming out with that new Model Y and that car is outstanding. It is going to be a nice car for the price. They definitely upgraded it big time. So that's it, I think. Watch the Magnificent 7 pull back into earnings. Earnings are going to be real cool. This, I'm really excited about earnings this come around. We got the banks leading the bank here. We got the banks leading it out. Right off the gate, January the 12th, we'll have Bank of America, BlackRock, Citibank, We'll have an airline stock, Dow. J.P. Morgan, which has had one hell of a run. UNH and WFC. Now, UNH, here's another one that I called out. And I've got a lot of feed, a lot of negative feedback on this one here. And I did the same time, time last time when I talked about it. We had one hellicious, one hellicious run on it. And that's Humana. Now, I'm very bullish on Humana and healthcare into 2024 we're going to need it if we go into war so we got we got some unusual auction activity starting now that was on the 19th we still have the bears overwhelmingly wanting to trade this stock but i'm bullish on it i think we'll definitely get up here to 470 again I'm very bullish on this stock. Last time I called this trade out, it was down here at 460. And we this was all on rumor. Or this one here. This is the one that we talked about. This was on rumor about COVID being over and operations are going to start costing more. And <laughs> I got a secret. I'm going to pull a Biden on you. The government will pay for it. Their insurance companies are making a killing off the government since they passed Obamacare. They're making a killing. Now we're above the 9. So this stock's definitely going to run up to the 21. And that's a beautiful little inverse head and shoulders right here. Resistance level. So 475, 471. Once we broke out of the 9, that's definitely a bullish sign that we could go ahead and scoot on up to the 21. Now my strategy talks about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. And I'm beating everybody out of the gate when it comes to being in the now on H-U-N. M, H-U-M, Humana. So I'm very bullish on this stock. I'd buy the dip. If you were looking at it today and you wanted to take this trade, pull up the five minute, set you an alert off the 200, right on the bottom of this here channel and see if you can pull back and get in it at 455, 4, 456. That would be the place to get it because we got a descending, well, we got a symmetrical flag. So it can easily come back down and double bottom and then break out of the triple top. We got a one, two, three right here. So we do have some resistance. no higher than that 258.23. So pull back to the nine maybe, I don't know. I'd rather try to see if I can get it down here on this here shoulder line and jump it off the 200 on the five minute. I will be using the five minute more this year because a lot of traders can't, don't want to take the time and, and study the one minute, which a lot of times can tell you if a trade's bullish or not. 
I've been looking at the five minute and it, it does just as well or even better. It's more easier and more simple to read. So I'm going to head out. Let's have a great day today. Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy where I talk about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now.